Hi everybody, this is Mr. Cadenhead. It is Friday, April 12th, and I have a lot of important messages for you today. First and foremost, we have about five weeks before finals, and so make sure you're looking ahead in finals. Uh, you know the dates of that, you're planning your pause, you have about 10 pause, that means remaining, before our final exams and planning accordingly. Seniors, make sure you are very, very dialed in to having everything you need your cap, your ground, gown, your um, sober grad night paid for, all of that sort of thing. Uh, make sure you're reading the website for your senior events. Make sure you read my letter um, that I shared with you and email both the students and families posted on the website regarding all the details of graduation that you need to give your guests, handicap parking, when to arrive, when you get your tickets, when our practices are, all of that. So make sure you're really, really dialed in here. Parents, if you're listening, you as well, especially of seniors, very important this time of the year. I also want to let everybody know, and I know I sent an email on this, but we have a free EKG heart screening we're hosting in conjunction with UC Davis Children's Hospital and Project Adam here at Folsom High School this Sunday, 9 a.m. It's on our website. You get a chance, please uh, consider. Anybody between age 12 and 25 does not have to be a Folsom High School student. We have about 450 some odd um, people signed up right now. They can take up to about 600. Um, it is the number one cause of death, undetected heart conditions on school campuses. Um, and so it's super important that we get our student athletes checked. It is not typically part of the athletic physical. Um, and I know on a personal level, I lost a young man years ago who played football for me, a very, very healthy 16 year old uh, student athlete to an undetected heart condition when he was on campus conditioning. And so please, please take a few minutes, come down, get checked, register on our website ahead of time so that we can pace uh, our exams out. Uh, I'll be there for a while in the morning uh, greeting everybody, but please think about getting checked. Um, also coming up the following week, Saturday, uh, 3 o'clock on our website as well, the first TEDx Folsom High. Shohini Chakraborty um, is helping put that together. She is the driving force behind that, incredibly organized, as she always is. Um, but there are tickets still available for that if you have not registered but are interested in the first Folsom High School TEDx. Uh, again, the following weekend that uh, is on, I think that is the 20th, if I have that right, but it's on our website. Really important that you know, um, if you come in our Prairie City entrance or exit down there at the student parking lot across from Intel, on Wednesday of next week, we're going to make some modifications and give it a try for a while. Um, I'm going to include in my email to parents, families, students, staff has it, um, a presentation that gives you the changes. Uh, for the time being, we will have Folsom PD traffic, uh, Folsom High School admin down observing and assisting with that for some days, seeing if it improves getting on the campus. In short, um, we're going to route traffic two different ways coming in the main entrance, and we're going to open the back entrance exit to the student parking lot to northbound um, Prairie City traffic coming from Highway 50, etc. So please take a look at that carefully. It will help make sure that you stay safe, that you get here on time. That starts Wednesday with temporary signage, um, cones, etc. Give yourself a little bit extra time, but we're trying to give you all the information that you need to do that. Congratulations again to everybody the last few weeks who received the Bulldog Pride or Principals Award. The Bulldog Pride is representative of excellent students chosen by teachers um, who also embody our guiding principals at Folsom High School. So congratulations to all of you who received that. And our principal awards go to anybody with a 3.5 cumulative weighted or higher. And so we had from the sophomore through senior year, a thousand principal award 3.5 or higher recipients this year, which is really, really amazing. To put that in perspective, um, and we don't quite check on freshmen yet only because they have one semester in. So they start being eligible for that war award next year. But right now, sophomore through seniors, about 50% of students at Folsom High School are earning a 3.5 to beyond a 4.0, a 3.5 or above. That is not with an easy curriculum. That is not lowering standards. That is with a college prep rigorous curriculum 
obviously that gets you very, very ready for college and beyond. Um, so kudos to all of you, 1,000, 3.5 or above, and all you freshmen who will be there next year. Congratulations. Um, wanted to make sure that also finally you're checking in with all your teachers to make sure you understand the format of your finals here at the end of May, um, that they offer you some study strategies specific to that format and their content, and that you guys are making flashcards or use, using your current flashcards with all of your academic vocabulary. It is so critical. You know all the academic language from your science class and your um, history classes and your English class. We all use very different language. You need to know that language in order to read your prompts and then understand the prompt correctly and answer correctly. So please make sure that you are studying your academic vocabulary. Ask your teacher. And I'm going to remind them to remind you of the study strategies that are effective and what is the format and general length of that test, what's in, roughly included on it, okay? But those are your big, big to-dos uh, getting ready for finals. So um, hope everything is going well. As I said, it's going to go really, really quickly. If you need anything, let us know. Um, it's been really, really good um, being able to be out with you guys lately. I appreciate all of you. And it's Friday, so as always, read a good book without pictures. Have a passion for something positive. Tell your family this weekend you love them. And our keyword, as always, is balance. Have a great weekend, everybody.